Well, how do that, chums? I'm back in Alpha Centauri, inside of Starfield, people inside the viewers, and I'm looking for a planet to go to next. You know what? Because I've scanned this giant gas, well, this giant gas giant, <laughs> I think I'm going to scan one of its neighbouring planets, and we're going to go for this one. We're going to go for Moon Zamaka. Zamka. There we go. Let's go there. Hold on. Forgotten Mech Graveyard? Are you having a laugh? I've got to go to that. Heck yes. So Planet Zamka, well, Moon Zamka, has got the Forgotten Friggin' Mech Yard on it. All right, well, we're going there then, people. Yes, yeah, set a course to Zamka. Frickin' awesome. And the photo opportunities galore there, people. That goes. Oh, okay, right, well, we're there already. And, uh, yeah, let's uh, go back into the old map then. Boom. Scan it from space. There we are. Scanned. And we go into the Forgotten Mech Yard. Look at all the resources on this one. Oh, it's got, it's got iron there by the looks of things. Has it got aluminium? If it's got aluminium, this could be a good planet to actually build on. And if it's got a mech yard, I could build near that. That'd be freaking epic. Heck yes. Sweet! This looks a little bit like Mars or something, don't it? Okay, alright, exit ship. I can't even imagine to tell you the number of inhospitable worlds like these that I've visited. Well, this is pretty darn nice, though. When it comes to resources, you know, freaking awesome. I don't know where the mech yard is. Let's uh, start having a look around. So we've got natural over there. Mech yard, 181, 180 meters this way. Is it above ground or is it through that tunnel? I, I guess it's through this tunnel. All right, let's go through there then. We've got copper on this planet, people. There's one of eight resources already located, and that one was just in the ground there, people. The mark's mine. What? Huh? Ah! I thought you were Sarah! Where the fudge, where did your fudge you come from? You dropped a nice sword, though. I'll have that. Okay. I'm not too sure what's going on right now. Holy fudge and ori! Spacer Jackal. I could do with another ship, I suppose. Alright, where are they coming out on this thing? Probably coming out of this. There they are. I just saw them spawn in. Oh, my days. Level 8. Nice one, Sarah. Oh. They're off, are they? Great. Okay, so this is the old mech yard, is it? Let's have a look around then. That was fun. I guess it was. Ah, oh, yeah, mech yard! Brilliant, eh? This is cool. Um, I was. Yeah, it'd be nice if we could pilot these things, but how cool is that, people? So lots of copper here, but nothing else showing up in blue. All right. Oh, my days. Look, there's a load of people over there in the background. I don't know what they're doing over there. That's another ship landing site, but I don't see their ship. All right. Well, we carry on looking for resources upon this lovely marble, but I might have to go to another biome. I mean, I only came here mainly because, you know, mech graveyard and all. A pretty darn freaking epic, I guess. All right, well, there was a point of interest that was right behind me over there. I might head towards that, okay? So it means going back through that tunnel and back where we came from, but, you know, it is what it is. Let's just double back on ourselves and let's head there. All right, if I come across any other resources on the way there, I'll be sure to let you know, people inside the Viewerverse. Okay, chums, I can see one more bluey just there, I guess. 
And that's Cobalt. Cobalt, another finite resource. Heck yes. Cobalt got. Heck yeah. That's awesome. And that was just a rock. Oh, look, there's another blue over there. There's a lot of ships landing on this place. I guess there are. It's like helium free. Quite an expensive resource. Main reason to go back to our own moon, people. Yeah, we've got helium free on our moon. And helium free. Extremely, extremely expensive. Uh, if we could mine that and bring it back, it'd be worthwhile. It really would. Okay, well, we've arrived located here, but it looks like there's another blue just over there, so I'm just going to scan that. Okay, this one looks quite rare. So it's lucky I spotted this little chap sitting on this rock over here. Done. Was there any other blues in near proximity? Yes, look, there's one right behind me. I ran straight past it, apparently, people. Let's just get that one scanned, too. Nickel. Oh, there's another blue one right behind it. Uranium. Okay, so we're now on six of eight, people. This is this is pretty awesome going. So now I need to scan this wandery area for point of interest. Let's get a bit closer. Which bits can I scan? There we go. I have to get quite close to these rock piles. 10 iron. Okay, got the 10 iron. Poor copper. There's probably one more rock pile somewhere around this lovely pebble. Go through the middle. Have I already done this one? Yes, I've already done this one. All right, well, um, whatever reason, that's not really triggered much, has it? All right, okay, well, there's a couple more natural points of interest around here. Oh, hold on. There's one more rock pile there by looks of things, or is that the same one I've already been to? It'd be nice if they changed freaking colour like everything else, wouldn't it? Ah, wrong button. Is it really necessary for you to drag around all that gear? Nope, that's why I'm going to give it to you, Sarah Morgan. Ah, fudging heck, I'll get the right button in a minute. Have something for me? Yes, rocks. Lots and lots and lots and lots and lots of rocks. Okay, let's go give us some rocks, people. There we go, resources. And store all resources. RB. Okay. Oh, it does do all of them at once. Freaking great. There you go, Sarah. How are you doing? We have 39 resources. There you go. Time to go? Yes. Okay, right. Oh, look, there's another bluey. Holy fudge. This might mean I only need one more on this lovely planet, but I haven't popped a single point of interest yet. There you go. Iron found. Right, so we head towards these over here and hope that we get another resource, people. Okay, chums, we've got another sort of um, rock pile here. Let's go over to that then. Get that. And we've got another geological feature now. So let's scan this. So that's one of two scanned. Iron meteorite, that's one. Okay, where's the opposite one then? I would have thought it would have been over this way. No, maybe not then. And there's something blue over there on the rock. Is that just another rock pile, though? Yes. It does look like another rock pile. We're going to interact with it anyway, see what we get. Oh, no! It's water! Don't rush the scan. Wouldn't want to overlook anything valuable. So now we've got eight of eight done. Uh, let's uh, take to the sky. Jump for fudge sake. Oh, for fudge sake. No! Freaking jump. Get off of that, whatever you're on. Okay, is there anything else inside these holes? 
There should be another one around here somewhere. Or maybe I have to go to another one of these. I don't know. Hold on. Here we go. There we go. Sludge pools done. Okay, well, there's one more natural point over there. Let's see if that's the other one of these wondrous areas that I've got to find. And then hopefully we can get ourselves off this rock. Yeah, I mean, it's as beautiful as it is. I need to go and maybe take some pictures of those mechs because, you know, that's the unique feature of this planet. I was hoping that there'd be mechs dotted about in the landscape as well. What the fudge is that? That looks like a little cave, doesn't it? It's not. It's just a suspicious looking rock feature, isn't it? All right, fine. Anyway, we found all the resources, so I don't need to go in a blanking cave, do I? Okay, well, what's that over there? Oh, it's a different natural. We'll go to that icon too. And hopefully that's going to do it, people. All right. Well, this is the same as the last one. The crater full of meteorites. Okay, chums. I'm approaching whatever this is. It looks like a massive storm crater. Oh, great. I've already found those. Yeah. Dang it. Okay, right. Um, I don't think there's anything to be had here, people. I don't think there is at all. So I might have to go to another biome. I was a little bit suspicious. Yeah, just ran like a thousand freaking meters. Yeah, okay. Fast travel. Let's go back. Okay, I just took all the aluminium and iron off of Sarah, mainly because Bye. I headed back to the mech site to grab some photos and I found an industrial workbench. And it looks like I can just craft a shed load of these right here. So I'm going to craft 38, 38 adaptive frame. Awesome. I'm going to put, I can put storage containers at my freaking place now. That's awesome. What we've got here as well, nickel and iron. We can craft one of those. What the fudge is it though? I have no idea what it is. Well, uncommon manufactured component. This item can be used in crafting. Well, I don't know whether I need it. So yeah, I'll leave that then, I guess. It's worth quite a fair bit, though. It weighs a freaking ton. Okay. All right. There we are, then. Done. Oh, great. We've got a load of adaptive frames that we can um, stick at our outpost, people. So I might pop back and do that. But anyway, that's this planet completely scandicated. Yes, I've got quite a lot of photos. I wonder if that's a mech there. Let's go into photo mode. Let's spin this around. Is that a, is that a mech there? No, it's just junk, isn't it? But you know what? That's quite a nice picture of junk. A mountain of junk. Thank you, guys. Let's get back onto my shippity ship. Brilliant. Awesome, people. Well, I'm, I think I'm about good, to be honest. Yeah. I, I killed a pirate on the way back as well. Let's just go and jump on board my ship. Let's see what we're going to be doing next. Where are we headed next? Good question. That's what I was just thinking. Let's have a look, see, shall we? So we've now completed Zamka. Hold on. Why is it? Oh, no, we haven't finished Zamka. We've still got one more point of interest, people, haven't we? All right, well, let's have a look where we can go. We need. So this was. What was this sort of area here? Let's have a look. That's frozen plains. So mountains. Okay. We go to the mountains then, people. Here we go. Heck yes. Well, how do that jumps, right? Well, it's that time again. It's photo mode with Captain of the States. So here's one of my pictures from this lovely mech graveyard planet. Oh, God. And there I am by this lovely prickly thing sticking out of the frickin' moon. Yes, I've seen one of these before on other planets fairly similar. And we've got this picture of Sarah underneath what looks like a gas giant. Well, it is a gas giant. I'm thinking of swapping Sarah's sort of gear out. I mean, yes, it does mad match her lovely quilted jacket, but it's a bit piratey. I don't see her as being a pirate. We need to get something a little bit more posher for good old Sarah. And uh, there's one of the mechs, I guess. We need to have a picture of a mech if we've gone to a mech graveyard. Yes, we do. And there I am, by a little encampment, where I found a lovely workbench and made adaptive frame. And there we are, by a mountain of freaking trash. Hey, girls. Awesome people inside the view of us. Wouldn't you agree? Hope you liked my PTRs. Okay, Jumps, we've got a natural point of interest over here that shows diamonds. But I'm wondering whether it might be the same sort of diamonds that we saw earlier. Sometimes the same geological things appear 
under different markers like we saw of the giant storm craters earlier people I mean we are seeing a little bit more variation in the rocks here though look at those pretty cool I'm liking this epic music I really am it really builds up the atmos doesn't it well we're 300 years away or meters I keep saying use because I play no man's sky a heck of a lot people if you haven't checked out my channel you'll find on there a lot of spacey sort of sci-fi type games I also like um fantasy games like Dragon's Dogma and Elden Ring yeah look it's the same freaking geological thing as before I wonder if there's more scannable components to this one though yes there are look excellent eh? we need to get a bit closer before we can scan it but this is going to work this is probably going to pop the other point of interest people in the view of us boom we might as well go to this resource deposit see what's inside of these now yeah, that's, that's quite a big bone pile well it's rock pile this one uranium and copper don't mind if i do but now we're over encumbered where's sarah hello sarah mate i've got some rocks for thee hold on why do i always press the wrong button what when i try I to talk with? to her yeah let's see what you've got yeah let's do that let's do that sarah morgan okay so here we go no i want to be in my resources thank you very much i don't want to transfer everything i've got to you there we go and i'm just going to stole that with you sarah and that yeah oh the container is at maximum okay you can't have any more sarah you can't you can't have it you can't have it that's mine yeah all right anyway we haven't spoke to sarah this episode have we not properly let's get to know sarah yeah okay do you have any religious beliefs i think i've got a religious one i think i chose serpent or was that on my pc save i can't remember my parents considered themselves to be enlightened oh okay their lives were so busy they rarely pursued their beliefs fair enough by the time i was old enough to start questioning these things the idea of following any organized religion was almost an afterthought. Fair enough. It's not that I don't want to believe in anything. It's that my scientific mind is often at odds with my spiritual center. Right. Having been out there in the star field, seeing all those magnificent wonders with my own eyes, I need answers, not religious theory. I'm gotcha. sorry if that disappoints you. But don't worry. While we're on this journey together, I fully intend to respect your religious beliefs. Right, okay, fine. Well, um, you know, we are we are touching up these artifacts that are given us sort of spiritual awakenings. So, you know, there is that, I suppose. Whether you want to tie religion to spiritual is completely your choice. I am kind of missing the enduring fan, you know. I'm doing an oral history of Constellation's most decorated members. It's just me repeating your name into a data slate for five hours. Yeah, no point in mentioning Sarah. I mean, look at her. She's just staring at this sandwich. She's been doing that for a little while now. It's a little bit worrying. Every time we get back to the ship, Sarah with the sandwich. You know what? I'll take it away from her. You're not having it. It's mine. I guess. Okay, right. Let's um. I let's heard over here you're now. fluent in over two dozen verbal and body languages. Yeah. Remarkable. I know. I can charm through a letterbox of these eyes. Yes. Okay, right. Anyway, enough about me. Let's uh, jump on over to the navigational console. Right, now that is 100% surveyed. At last! Air grab! Hey, girls! Okay, so that's that moon done. Is there any moons with life around this body? Uh, no. What about this one next to the satellite? No. What about this one? Right, so none of these moons around this globe have any... Well, they've got quite a lot of resources, but I like to try and mix it up a bit, show a planet with a bit of life. What's this one over here? Gargin. See, that's got moderate. We'll do Gargin next time, people. And then we'll do another moon, maybe two moons, and then a planet with life. And you mix it up, you know, you try and make it a bit more interesting, people. So I think next time would be Planet Gargin. What we'll do weird name of a planet but then again to space people anyway salute mondo thank you for watching if you are liking this video and this series why not share the playlist with a friend i guess because i am trying to get to two quinzillion subscribers yes so that that button helps to reach that target press the button you're in that target with the other quinzillion people <laughs> anyway take care goodbye goodbye and goodbye again